Shalom. I'm going to give praise on the Lord to Yahweh, Shema, Hashem, 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 and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Most on Tom Street. And peace, blessing, and salutations to hope for that. And, um, yeah, man. <laughs> it's a day of atonement. It's almost over here in the UK. It's about to be sundown soon. But I just thought I might as well do a lesson before I even think about eating or consuming any water <clears throat> and yeah man i found this video here and just thought it would be edifying man i don't know who needs to hear this wake up wake up what what is going on i'm not understanding how we could be going through potentially a crisis like a serious crisis where the BRICS nation is combining their money together to devalue the American dollar. Which means that if we wanted to buy something over in these countries, whether it's Brazil, Russia, China, India, South Africa, if we was to go over there and try to purchase something for $1, guess how much we're going to have to give them? 55 US dollars to their one dollar. And yeah, man, hyperinflation. Literally, man, hyperinflation. <clears throat> now, we know inflation came around, but yo, <laughs> when hyperinflation comes, the people won't be able to um, afford anything. And then that's when um, stealing and things of that sort. <clears throat> will come into play. Do you not understand what is going to happen to our economy if that happens? We would just sit here complaining about eggs to dollars. Can you imagine how much we're going to have to pay now? If we went to one of these countries and wanted to buy $20, 20 of their dollars worth of goods, do you know how much we're going to have to pay? That's $1,100 for a $20 item. So in layman's terms, that basically means, listen, these countries not messing with the U.S. no more. They're not trading. And yeah, man, this is what's going to happen, man. Because people won't be able to afford food. And as usual, you help us and how shy is the ultimate profit. <clears throat> Wait, is it second or just 16? Was it 15? I'm sure it's 15. Oh, where is it? You know what? Bread. Here we go. Second of just 15 and 18. Do you know what? Let me start at 17. But you know what? Let me start at 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell there. Being, going into that word, world being oinkinemi, which means the whole inhabitants. <clears throat> and it says, For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, going into civil war. So someone from the nation of Elam against someone from the nation of Edom or someone from the nation of Edom against someone from the nation of Israel and someone from the nation of Israel against someone from the nation of Moab or Ammon and so on and it says for there shall be a sedition there shall be a sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of the action shall stand in their power so yeah at this point in time just imagine everything's expensive. You don't even have any money to go ahead and buy these items. What do you think people are gonna do? <laughs> people are gonna be stealing, man. People are gonna be fighting each other. Like just, just, just look at what happened when the C one nineteen came. What happened, man? Literally, people were fighting over tissue. <laughs> oh man, yo, that's funny, man. People were fighting over tissue and hitting each other over tissue and people got put in hospital for tissue. It's absolutely insane. <clears throat> so 
So okay, I just had to quickly pause it. My little brother wanted to come and um wanted to have a quick look at drink. <clears throat> but carrying on. Um yeah, that's another thing. It just came to my mind. Literally America and the UK and all these different countries. Literally there's different nations over there which basically adds on to what it says in verse 15 talking about one nation shall fight against another nation being with swords in their hands and especially in America because we're not uh, Revelation Revelation 17 and 15 <clears throat> and it says here and he saith unto me the waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth being America are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues so yeah there's different nationalities different nations of people all over the earth man and they're gonna fight why because of the high inflation the hyperinflation shall I say and not being able to afford food just just watch man people are gonna be fighting against each other man trying to end someone else's life over food now let's go back to second address 15 15 and 19 <clears throat> yeah, here we go second address 15 and 17 it says i man shall desire to go into a city i shall not be able and yeah man they're bringing out them 15 minute cities man and you won't be able to leave your zone Unless you have money. <laughs> like literally, if you're just an average person, then you're going to be on an on, on LD, man. Basically, luck down arrow. <clears throat> if you know, you know. And it says, um, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And men shall have no pity, being having no compassion upon his neighbour but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation so yeah man because of the tribulation being <clears throat> the hyperinflation which is going to cause a lot of people to start stealing and soon it's just going to get to the point where people are going to be stealing from their neighbours they're going to go into someone else's house and they're going to take whatever they got, man. And they ain't going to care. There ain't going to be no compassion, man. I'm just going back to the video. Trade right in the way that they used to trade. They don't care about nothing. They they flip that coin. They're like, we not having it no more. So now we're subjected to inflation like crazy. Our rent. We're, we're talking about rent now. We're not going to be able to afford rent. Food, forget about it. That's probably half my check right now, just on food, clothes, electronics, <laughs> oil, like everything that the U.S. was getting from these countries is going to be more than double. <clears throat> Can you imagine living like that? But yet nobody's talking about it. Yet it's under the radar. Yet it's not all over the news. It's not... Breaking news. This is what they're trying to do to us. None of that is going on. This is why they're distracting you with the fires, all of these wildfires that they're creating, but we're not going to get into all of that, right? Well, the scripture is saying, man. It's in the days of Noah. Twenty-four. <clears throat> and... 37 it says but as the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be for as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark so the Lord has his prophets out here and they be prophesying telling you exactly what's going to happen and a lot of people don't care and literally people are going to realise when it's too late they won't realize them living in the world and going after their own loss is what's going to destroy them. <clears throat> and like the scripture is saying, man, 
No, let me get it, man. They're gonna find. They're gonna find out when it's too late. Like the scriptures say, man. What was it again? Um, You know what? Oh, where is it? There right, we go. Isaiah six, and let me start at. Uh, Nine and it says, and he said, Go and tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see indeed, but perceive not. Meaning, this 100% truth isn't revealed to them, they've been blinded. And it says, Make the heart of these people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. And that's what the Lord don't want. The Lord wants to ex. Execute judgment upon the masses. And it says, Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So there you go, man. They're going to they're gonna think everything is great. And it's going to be too late, man. That the judgment is just going to come upon them suddenly. And that's why it says this, man. Um, I may not tarrying. Ecclesiastes 5 and 7, and it says, May not tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put enough from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, meaning when you think everything's safe, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, being the day of payback. And that's going to be during the time of Jacob's trouble. We're not going to get into all of that that they're creating. So now me, my family, you, and your family is subjected to nothing. Like nothing. Basically, because they're not going to increase our pay. You know they're not going to do that. You know Biden don't mess with us like that. You know he do not mess with us like that. So it's not like we're going to get an increase in pay to cover all of these outrageous courses. So what you, gonna, what you think going to happen? What do you think going to happen? I'm going to leave that up to your imagination. Because <laughs> let's not forget. These elites don't care. They're not, they're not affected. Whatever happens over here, trust me, they're covered. They make sure that they're covered. They don't, they don't care about the little people. We're the little people. They don't care. Oh, and the rich? <laughs> Y'all not exempt? Y'all is not exempt. <laughs> because the taxes y'all gonna have to pay and oh, to live this lavish lifestyle that you want to live they're going to be taxing the living daylights out of you the living daylights out of you y'all are gonna be feeling like us y'all are really gonna be feeling like us and we're gonna be feeling like the homeless because that's that's ultimately what's gonna end up happening Oh, and if you're my color, forget about it, because they've been defecating on us for years. So, you know, they ain't, they not handing out not one thing. Yeah, like the scriptures say, man. If we do not. Actually, I think it's Isaiah 31, if I'm not mistaken. It's Isaiah 31. And there we go, Isaiah 31 and 1, and it says, Well, to them that go down to Egypt for help, being spiritual Egypt, being your government, <clears throat> and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh, but Hashem Haushai, and ultimately the two thirds and the wicked jakes that are scattered all over the earth. They're going to trust in carnal things, or they're going to trust in their idols. <clears throat> and it says, yet 
He also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. Yeah, being these Caucasians, they believe themselves to be gods, especially the elites. They, they think themselves to be gods. And their horse is flesh and not spirit. When the Lord Yahweh, Bashem HaMashai, shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fail, slucketh shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they all shall fall together. For thus has the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the long lion roaring of his prey. When a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord Yahweh of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion, being the monument, which is the 12 tribes of Israel starting with the elect of the elect. And for the hill thereof, <clears throat> and you know what? Let me go to... I know there's more. Here we go. Isaiah 30. And then it says, That walk to go down in Egypt, and have not asked that my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And yet, they're going to go down to Esau Elam, and be in their government, and they're going to ask for help. Instead of trying to come to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Boshim HaWashai. And it says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion, for the princes where Zoman and his ambassadors came to hands. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be an help, nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach. And yeah, that's what these two thirds and these wicked Israelites that are scattered all over the world are going to find out, man. They're going to go down <clears throat> to the people who run the place and they're going to look for help but they ain't going to get anything man they ain't going to help you <clears throat> and this is the burden of the beast of the south into the land of trouble and anguish from whence come the young and old lion the viper and the fire flying serpent they will carry their riches upon the soldiers of young asses and their treasures upon the bunches, bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them so yeah man <laughs> and that reminds me of um, that scripture where it talks about those that consent shall be had in derision. Meaning, if you go down to Esau Eden for help, it's not it's, it's not gonna go in your favor. And it says, for the Egyptians shall help in vain, and to no purpose. Therefore, have a cry concerning this: their strength is to sit still. And that's exactly what these modern day pharaohs are going to do. They're going to pretend to help you, but really they're not going to be helping you. They're just, they're just going to destroy you, man. <clears throat> now stand together now. We are going to be in serious trouble. Y'all thought we was going through a spiritual warfare. Huh. It's about to get real, real, okay? Really real. And the distractions is working just like how they wanted to work. Y'all are basically doing their job for them. Y'all need to wake up. Because life as you know it today could all change August 22nd. Wake up. And yeah, man. <laughs> I was about to get some more scriptures, but I've just forgotten it. Ah. Well, let me see if I can remember. <clears throat> you know, I've, I've forgotten it. I guess the Lord don't want me to carry on anymore, but... Yeah, man. <laughs> I hope this lesson was ever fine. I want to give all praises on the glory to how God shame how shy. And, yeah, man. Draw nigh to how God shame how shy, those that trust in him. <clears throat> and those that actually have his name and believe upon his name. Because, literally, when time and trouble comes, literally, that's when people are going to realise they're worshipping idols. So, like, right now, <clears throat> the Lord has caused them to believe in strong delusions. 
and believe in these other gods. But when the time of Jacob's trouble comes, there's only going to be one name man, that's going to be able to save. And that's Yahweh of Bahashim And they're going to find out when Jacob's trouble comes and they call upon the false idols and nothing happens. <clears throat> and you get those false prophets that we're talking about. Um, JC and these other, other gods, they're going to find out that they weren't actually prophets. Do I actually, actually know what? They're going to find out that they were false prophets and that the Lord, Yahweh, was, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, was not dealing with them. So all I can say is <laughs> believe in what you believe in. It. <sighs> because at the end of the day, this word is only for the let of the let. And it's only for them to believe in the 100% doctrine, which comes out of Great Millstone, whether you like it or not. But yeah, man. Shalom.